to start by uh, thanking you all for attending. My name is Lance Zurich, and I'm the Product Manager for the Fisher Technic Division here at Studica. And today I'm going to speak with you about how you can bring STEM concepts to your elementary classroom with the help of the new Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM 1 and 2 sets. Now these two sets are designed as an ideal hands-on method for making technology fun and making it easy to understand, and they include standards-based classroom curriculum, which was especially designed for Fisher Technic by noted educator and STEM expert, Tom White. So, what is STEM? Well, of course, if you're attending this webinar today, I assume that most of you uh, know that the term STEM is, of course, an acronym, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Uh, these days, it seems everywhere you turn, somebody's talking about the importance of STEM education, and the reason for this is simple. Demand for scientists and engineers is expected to grow at a rate far exceeding any other occupational field, and at the same time, not nearly enough students are pursuing careers in these areas to meet this growing demand. Now consider this. The United States Department of Commerce projected in the decade leading up to 2018, STEM occupations would grow by 17%, compared with only 9.8% growth for all other occupations. Now this graphic, which I recently found, has a different set of projections made for the period of 2010 to 2020, which made even more dramatic predictions. Now, even with this, this may not sound or look so bad on the face of it, but to put it into better perspective, Think about this fact quoted by J.D. Chesloff in his Education Week piece from March 5th of 2013. Quote, across the country, across all occupations, there are 3.6 people for every one job. In STEM fields, there is one person for every 1.9 jobs. Employers can't find the talent to fill these jobs, which is even more surprising considering the U.S. Census Bureau recently reported that the median salary for engineering majors was the highest of any profession. Now, as Cheseloff goes on to state, supply is low and demand is high. There is a mismatch between projected future jobs requiring STEM skills and the projected supply of qualified workers to fill them. Now, this same need was voiced by the Bipartisan Congressional STEM Education Caucus in their report on the importance of STEM education. Now, they determined that STEM education is necessary because it provides the scientists and engineers needed for future development, it also provides the future workforce with the skills required of a high-tech world. And also, it builds the foundation for scientifically literate voters and citizens. And we will ignore my pop-up because we're already doing that. Okay. Now, as such, STEM education isn't just a matter of personal development to enable students to land the best-paying jobs. It's also a matter of national security. On every level, the world around us is changing at a dizzying pace. Now, at the risk of being redundant, STEM education helps us, both as individuals and as a nation, to understand and keep up with the rapid changes in technology, changes which in turn are altering the demands and scope of industry. And obviously, if we, we as a nation are to keep our stature and position on the world stage, this requires us to keep pace with the rapid developments occurring all around the globe, where countries such as China and India are making major investments in state-of-the-art infrastructure. So, with all this in mind, when is the right time to begin teaching STEM? Well, it's not always so obvious. Most often we see students in middle or high school getting involved with STEM via programs focused on robotics or chemistry. But many experts believe that by waiting until this point in a student's education to explore STEM, we're really missing a great opportunity. In fact, there is a growing consensus that STEM education should begin early in a child's education. Consider this quote from a brief entitled, Nurturing STEM Skills in Young Learners Pre-K-3, to posted on the SuccessfulSTEMeducation.org site. Quote, young children are avid STEM investigators, eager to explore and invent. Spend five minutes with a three to eight-year-old, and you will field an astounding array of questions, as their own natural curiosity leads them towards STEM inquiry. How can we all get a fair share of these cookies? Well, how can I make my block skyscraper real tall but not fall over? How can that log float on top of the lake? Isn't it heavy? Now, young children are also the earliest adopters of technology, grabbing for cameras, smartphones, and other tools as soon as they're able." End quote. Now, in an article in U.S. News & World Report entitled, 
STEM education, it's elementary. Anthony Murphy, the Executive Director of the National Center for STEM Elementary Education at St. Catherine University in St. Paul, Minnesota, wrote, quote, As a high school life science teacher and university professor, I have come to realize that we need to begin STEM education early with our children, certainly in elementary school and possibly even younger. Now, in a blog post entitled Early STEM Education from the WeAreTeachers.com website, Erin McPherson elaborates on this idea. Quote, too often STEM education begins with a disjointed introduction to engineering and technology concepts starting in middle school. And while any exposure to STEM is good, research study after research study on STEM education has shown that kids who experience STEM early through hands-on learning are the ones who will be best equipped to develop a strong understanding of STEM concepts as they grow older. Now, part of the reason students who get exposed to STEM earlier can be more successful is because of the development of EF, or executive function skills. Now, skills that fall under this category include such things as organizing information, staying focused, strategizing, planning, and exercising self-control. Now, according to the previously mentioned brief, Nurturing STEM Skills in Young Learners Pre-K-3, to quote, Although experts view executive function skills as key to school readiness and success, a high percentage of pre-K to 3 teachers do not know or understand their role in early learning, and they need tools and training to help them foster children's skills." End quote. Now another working paper, titled Building the Brain's Air Traffic Control System, put together by a team of researchers at the Center on the Developing Child at Harvard University, says that executive functions skills play a pivotal role in children's early and later STEM learning. The paper states, quote, in math and science class, children learn theories and have to be able to make sense of abstract representations. They have to connect how they understand things now to the new theories they learn, requiring them to make conceptual changes. Now, children who score higher on EF tasks make those conceptual changes faster. Well, if so many experts agree that the earlier children are exposed to STEM, the better chance we have to tap into their innate curiosity that they have about the world around them and to develop the habits and ways of thinking that can help lead to future success, well, why aren't more schools addressing this area? Well, here are a few of the reasons we hear most often. The time available for new subjects is limited. There is a need to address the current academic standards first. STEM tools are expensive. Many elementary teachers are generalists and they're not science or STEM focused. And teachers may lack confidence and feel anxious about teaching STEM subjects. Well, if the need to expose students to STEM early, as so many of these experts argue, is a real one, then the answer is obvious. We need to provide educators with tools and solutions that fit comfortably within existing class activities, that address the most current standards in place, that are affordable, that can be easily used by teachers of all background, science or otherwise, and which provide a clear guide for the teacher to easily and confidently conduct all the activities. And that brings us to the Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM series. These two sets are the newest members of the Fisher Technic Education family, and they're designed to be an affordable, and easily scalable standards-focused curriculum-based tool for introducing STEM concepts to students in grades two and above. So, what is Fisher Technic? Well, to provide you with a bit of background, Fisher Technic is a flexible and innovative construction system. Now, unlike other popular construction sets designed to simply stack, Fisher Technic was created with more of an engineering mindset. The core building block is unique in that it allows attachment from all six sides and thus it allows for limitless design possibilities. Now many of the parts slide together to lock in place, and the hundreds of different parts available also help to address very specific design needs. Fisher Technic was created in the 1960s by German inventor Arthur Fisher, known for countless innovations used in the construction and automotive industries. Now if you've ever used a nylon plug in conjunction with a screw to help securely anchor a heavy object to a wall, similar to the one that you see Mr. Fisher holding to the left of your screen, well then you have him to thank. 
Now I'd also like to mention that Fisher Technic was the very first construction set to offer students the ability to build and program their own robots, and that was using the original pre-Macintosh era Apple computers. The new Fisher Technic introduction to STEM sets were des specifically designed as the entry point for the Fisher Technic education family. Now, almost since its inception, Fisher Technic has been used by middle schools, high schools, colleges, and universities all across the globe to explore STEM-related concepts, things such as robotics, renewable energies, mechanics, pneumatics, and so on. Fisher Technic has also been used by numerous companies, including Porsche, Daimler Chrysler, and BMW, to name but a few, for industrial simulation and training purposes. Now, as such, more than being something students may use for only a year or two in their development, Fisher Technic is designed so that students can grow with it. As students progress through their academic careers, they can also progress through the level of Fisher Technic education solutions which are available. Now, as I mentioned at the very beginning, the curriculum material for the Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM series was created by a man named Tom White. Tom is a noted educator who's been involved in STEM since the 1970s, designing programs for educational institutions and for industry. In fact, as an expert in hardware and software integration, Tom was pivotal in introducing CAD, CAM, control systems, digital control, additive manufacturing, and other such topics to the classroom. Now, currently, Tom is involved in the second year of the STEM-focused Southern Regional Education Board's Advanced Careers Program, which launched in, excuse me, which launched in 16 states in the fall of 2014, which continues to expand. Now, Tom White built his elementary Excuse me. Tom White built his elementary curriculum around Fisher Technic, and he's used Fisher Technic before in his programs because he believes that Fisher Technic is the ideal construction set for a STEM-focused curriculum program such as this. Reasons? The materials can be used and reused. Things that are built can be taken apart and reassembled into something completely different. It's much more economical than purchasing an expensive piece of equipment that might only be used for one or two experiments or projects and then just sit on a shelf and get dusty. And it should go without saying, it offers almost limitless creative opportunities. The Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM series are designed to engage and inspire students in grades 2 through 5. These sets provide educators with the tools they need to help young minds understand the technology that they see around them every day. Both sets allow students to explore and learn how things work by integrating hands-on projects and important standards-based curriculum into a single classroom solution. Each grade level focuses on different models with a series of small hands-on projects that can be inserted into class activities and in most cases completed in 45 minutes or less. The introduction to STEM sets are designed so that the hands-on projects are integrated with standards-based curriculum. Now this curriculum is designed to specifically address the very latest standards in place, not those of 10 years ago. So this will include things like the next generation science standards, as well as college and career readiness standards for both literacy and mathematics. Everything you need is included, and that's from all of the parts needed for building the various models, the detailed step-by-step -step instructions for building each model, as well as rubrics for student assessment, student worksheets, te teachers' answer sheets, guidance on using the unique Fisher Technic system, and other supplementary materials. The sets are designed to be both very affordable and easily scalable. Each set can be used by teams of two students at a time. And of course, all the materials are fully reusable. Students can build each model in the set, perform the various exercises, then simply take it apart when they're done and use those same pieces to build the next model. Now, on that note, let's take a look at the first set, which is the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1. Now, this set is recommended for use in grades 2, 3, and 4. It's designed to provide the pathway for introducing STEM concepts by allowing students to explore the technology behind some of the simple machines that they might encounter in the real world, and it helps them to understand how these machines actually work. The set contains 500 Fisher Technic pieces, all packed in a convenient and uh, sturdy Gratinel storage box. Each set has detailed standards-based curriculum, created especially for Fisher Technic by Tom White, as well as a full-color 170-page pictorial assembly manual that guides students step-by-step -step in the building of all 10 models that are addressed specifically in the curriculum, 
as well as 30 additional models. And that's a total of 40 different models in all that can be built with this one set. Now, here's a list of some of the essential STEM concepts that can be addressed using the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1 set. Simple machines, cause and effect, energy and matter, structure and function, stability and change, obtaining, evaluating, and communicating information, energy and motion, how energy is transferred, systems and system models, analyzing and interpreting data, constructing explanations, designing solutions, and much more. Now let me share with you some of the models that students will build with this set as they work through the curriculum. Our goal is to provide models that are both fun and engaging, but which also offer ample opportunity for learning. Now here we have a model of a quad runner vehicle, and this is used to help students learn about predicting motion as speed and direction, and a wind turbine that's used to help them learn about transforming energy. A tracked recovery vehicle with a winch allows them to study simple machines and learn about the transference of force. A scale allows them to understand about weight and mass. A simple hand mixer allows students to explore and understand how gears work. A C-clamp is used for further exploration of how gear systems work, and a ventilating fan for learning about pulleys, plus more. Now, as I mentioned earlier, besides these models specifically addressed in the curriculum, the set also enables you to build an additional 30 models, and this includes such things as a manual transmission, a centrifugal governor, and a working block and tackle. Now, let's move on to the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 2 set. This set is designed for use in grades 3, 4, and 5. The set continues the exploration of STEM and technology through examples found in the world around us, but this time it focuses more on automation, and thus it allows you to introduce students to fundamentals of robotics, programming, and coding. The set contains 200 Fisher Technic pieces, and it also comes packed in a handy Grattanel storage box. Now included as well is the Fisher Technic RoboLT controller, which acts as the interface for the various robotic models, and a license of the Fisher Technic RoboPro Lite software. Now RoboPro Lite is a graphic programming software that utilizes icons and a flowchart type design to make it easy for students to grasp and begin programming their own models. The Introduction to STEM 2 set also has its own detailed standards-based curriculum, which was designed to accompany it. Now, I should also mention here that as we are working with software and robotics, unlike the first set, this set requires a PC for all operations. But what's nice is that the same computers that can be used to power the various robotic models, as the RoboLT controller itself is USB powered. And so no additional power sources are required and students won't have to actually plug anything into a wall outlet. The set includes full-color pictorial assembly manual, of course, with in instructions for building all nine of the robotic models that are addressed in the curriculum, as well as three additional models. And as an added bonus, there is also a multi-language teaching and activity guide that's included with each set, and this contains additional exercises that you can include in your classroom activities if you so wish. Now, once again, various essential STEM concepts are explored, some of which were introduced in the first set, and some of which are unique to the Introduction to STEM 2 set. And this includes things like simple machines, electrical fundamentals, introduction to Ohm's Law, motor fundamentals, introduction to coding, programming, matter and weight, cause and effect, systems and system models, developing and using models, structure and function, stability and change, energy and motion, how energy is transferred, analyzing and interpreting data, constructing explanations, designing solutions, and more. And I am just going to stop for a second here because I noticed in the chat box that there was something popping up with someone not here getting sound with this. So if, uh, Christy, if you're still on there, if you could just pop in the information for where they need to get sound, because I think we might have lost someone because of that. Um, anyway, moving on, let me again share a few of the automated models that students uh, will build as they work through the curriculum. First, we have a windshield wiper simulation. 
Then we have an automated sliding door, such as you might encounter in your favorite supermarket, an amusement park merry-go-round, and a refrigerator simulation. Now at this point, I want to shift our discussion to the curriculum itself and show you how it's laid out and share some examples of what it covers. Now what you see now on your screen is the cover page of the curriculum for the Introduction to STEM 1 set. Now for the sake of simplicity, the examples I will share with you in the following slides will be drawn only from the STEM 1 curriculum. Now that being said, both curriculum pieces, while of course covering different material, share the same essential design format. Now the first thing I want to mention is that the curriculum itself comes in a PDF format. It's not included in the box itself, but it can be downloaded directly from the Studica website. Now the reason for this is that it helps us to keep it up to date. So if there are any revisions that are made over time, you can simply download the latest version as it becomes available. Now here you see the contents page for the STEM 1 curriculum. The first section of the curriculum, which you will see highlighted here, contains a brief introduction to the STEM 1 program. This section also directs you to links the two special supplementary material that will help bring new users of the Fisher Technic system up to speed. Uh, this will include things like how to identify the different parts being used, learning how the parts are put together, and walk you through the building of a simple model. Now going back to the contents page, you'll see that we now have the student section of the curriculum highlighted. The material is all broken down by the specific grade level it applies to. For each grade level, three to four models will be built from, for teaching about different concepts. Instructions for each model are included, which can also be found in the printed assembly manual included in each set, as well as activities and worksheets for each model. This slide shows one step of the building instructions for the beam balance scale. As you see, all the parts required for each step are clearly shown, as well as the quantities of each required, and the assembly of these parts is clearly diagrammed as well. Now here's an example of a worksheet pertaining to a model, in this case the uh, scale we were just discussing. And here students are asked to perform different experiments and to record their findings. Here's another example of a worksheet where students use a Venn diagram to define the similarities and differences in the components they're working with. Now returning to the contents page, let's now look at the teacher-specific content contained in the curriculum. Like the material in the student section, this is also broken down by grade level. Each grade-specific section includes an introduction which outlines the expectations for what the students should learn and be able to demonstrate an understanding of after completing the exercises contained here. The various standards to be addressed in each section of the curriculum are clearly spelled out. Again, please note that these standards include career and college readiness standards for math and literacy, as well as the next generation science standards. Learning targets are listed. The relevance and rationale behind these exercises is clearly stated. And the formative assessment criteria for success is also spelled out. This is followed by a summary section with links to all of the student activities and worksheets, a list of resources and materials, and also a link to the parts list and instructions for each model. Following this is a section where each of the standards outlined previously is discussed in more detail, as well as the options for how the teacher can go about helping to address that standard. Now this might be done by having the students perform an experiment or an activity, by working with one of the models, or perhaps engaging them in a class discussion to give just a few examples. Now, this section is written in such a way as to provide the teacher with a certain amount of flexibility as opposed to having a rigid format that must be followed. Teacher versions of all of the worksheets are also included. These, of course, provide some background on the purpose behind each activity, as well as guidance, guidance for assessing whether or not the students have effectively answered the questions put forth. Links may also be included to optional web-based material that the teacher may choose to share with the students. Now here's an example of how the Venn diagram we saw earlier could be completed. 
Again, this type of material is included for every model specifically addressed in the curriculum and for each grade level being addressed in either set, whether it's the introduction to STEM 1 or the introduction to STEM 2. And of course, a rubric for assessment of student performances is also included. In total, the curriculum PDF for the introduction to STEM 1 set contains 133 pages of material, and the curriculum for the introduction to STEM 2 set contains 196 pages of material. Now, we're also working on providing online teacher certification for both the introduction to STEM 1 and STEM 2 sets, and uh, we do hope to announce complete details on that in the very near future, and I would just ask that you watch the studica.com and fishertechnic.biz websites for more information on that. Now to give you a quick recap, the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1 set includes everything that you see here. That's a total of 500 Fisher Technic parts, along with the full color printed step-by-step -step instructions for building up to 40 different models, all carefully packed in a sturdy plastic Ratnell storage box. Each set is designed for use by teams of two students, and the cost per set is a very affordable $99 each. Now this means that if you have a classroom of, let's say, 20 students, you can get enough sets to cover everyone for under $1,000. And of course, if you contact us directly for a quote, you can get that cost even lower when you purchase in quantity. Now the Fisher Technic Ed Education Introduction to STEM 2 set, designed for introducing your students to the fundamentals of robotics and programming, contains everything that you see here. 200 Fisher Technic parts, including the graphic programming software and the Robo LT controller as well as a full-color step-by-step assembly manual for building up to 12 different robotic models and the multi-language teaching and activity guide. And once again, everything comes packed in a sturdy plastic Grantnell storage box. As with the first set, the introduction to STEM 2 set is also intended for use by teams of two students at a time, and the cost per set is also very affordable at only $199 each. Now this means that you can introduce a classroom of 20 students to coding and robotics for under $2,000. That's of course a phenomenal value, but once again, contact us directly for a quote and one of our dedicated educational representatives will be happy to provide you with quantity discount pricing. Now this brings us back to the curriculum we were just discussing. You probably wonder how much exactly does the curriculum cost to use? Is, it, is the cost calculated per student? Is there classroom discount? Uh, maybe there's a recurring annual fee. Well, here's how it breaks down. The curriculum for both the Introduction to STEM 1 or the Introduction to STEM 2 sets is absolutely free when you purchase either set in any quantity. There are no user fees of, uh, attached to it. There are no annual fees. There are no maintenance fees. There are no hidden costs. Once you download the curriculum after your purchase, it's yours to use in your classroom this year, next year, and we hope for many years to come. So with this in mind, that means that with the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1 set, again for grades 2, 3, and 4, you get everything I just mentioned, plus the curriculum, and of course your cost is only $99. And with the Introduction to STEM 2 set, for introducing students in grades 3, 4, and 5 to the fundamentals of robotics and programming, you get everything mentioned, as well as the detailed 196-page curriculum download. And again, we emphasize that's free curriculum, and your cost per set is only $199 each. So what's the next step? Well, you could get a quote. You can request a certificate for attending this presentation, which I know many of you wish to have for PD purposes. Or you can request a PDF version of the latest Fisher Technic Education Catalog, which features not only the introduction of STEM sets, but also all of our other great products, including our STEM Fundamentals line, which focuses on topics such as green energy, physics, electronics, pneumatics, and much more, our complete robotics line, and also our line of automation and simulation models, as well as the new STEM engineering and STEM prep sets. And you can do all of those things by simply sending us an email with your name and complete school information to either info at studica.com or stemlab at studica.com. Now, if you'd like to have the opportunity to examine the complete curriculum for either the Fisher Technic Education Introduction to STEM 1 or 2 set, or if you'd like to examine both, you can simply go to the URLs that are shown on the screen now, www.studica.com forward slash intro hyphen stem hyphen curriculum or www.studica.com forward slash intro hyphen stem hyphen 
two lowercase i's, hyphen curriculum, and you can register to download your own copy of either absolutely free of any charge or obligation. Now if you're ready to purchase or you'd like to learn more about the introduction of STEM 1 or 2 sets, as well as all the other Fisher Technic education products, if you'd like to be able to download activity booklets and other Fisher Technic related information, or if you'd like to view some of the instructional videos that we put together, then simply go to the URL you see at the bottom of your screen, www.studica.com forward slash Fisher Technic hyphen education. Of course, it'd be, if you actually prefer speaking with a real living, breathing person on the phone, you can connect with your own dedicated educational representative and request a quote by calling us directly. Now, the number in the United States is 1-888-561-7521. If you're in Canada, you can call us at 1-800-561-7520. Now, both numbers are, of course, toll-free, and we are in the office from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And in case you missed it the first time, here is our email address once again to request quotes, catalogs, certificates, and so on. Info at studica.com or stemlab at studica.com. So, before we end for the day, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the phone line and see if anyone has any questions, or you can also uh, feel free to type them in the chat box if you'd like, so just bear with me while I open up the phone line. The conference is now in conversation mode. All participants are now unmuted. A question? Please let me know. Well, I don't think that was a question, but uh, let's move on from that. So on that note, thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy day to attend this presentation. And we look forward to hearing from you. So have a great afternoon. Feel free to contact us if you like, and uh, have, a great, have a great day.